Hey, it's I'm back once again, and I figured, why not? Got the new Google Android 4.4 KitKat launcher. So yeah, well, let's check it out. Okie dokie, so yeah, here we have it now. I've just installed this on my, yes, my Galaxy Note 3. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning, is it? Yep, to almost quarter past 2 in the morning. But I figured, why not for you guys and gals? I'll give you a quick look through it now. And this is what's going to be coming on the new, new, new Nexus 5. Your source going to be getting rolled out to other devices as well. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour of it today. So we're just going to show where it's actually called. It's actually called Google Search. So I'm just going to set it as my home one for now. So I've got it always there. And effectively... They completely kind of redesigned the whole launcher itself. Now it will look different on the top um, with the Nexus devices, but this is the actual launcher itself. So you're probably thinking that's it, that's the amount of pages you get. Now when you swipe this way, you get the brand new Google Now. So as you can see here, gone along, it tells you how, how far you've kind of walked. Apparently I've done three miles in October. That's not really a lot much, is it? Um, you can do kind of like um, location-based cards. You know what Google Now is all about. There's more stuff to Google Now coming in the future with 4.4, but this is just a launcher, so it's not going to give you all of those extra features. And again, you can swipe to the side. Now, one cool thing that I noticed, and I don't know if many people have noticed this as well, is that you've only got literally those two pages. But what you can have is once you obviously pull it across to another page, you get another one as well. But the cool thing about this is, and I like this, is if you pull that to there, it gets rid of that other page. So it's no longer there. So again, I'll show you. So if I put that to, let's say, there, and then let's say I bring in another application. So let's say I bring my camera up to there. So let's say move that to there. We've then got another page. So we've got these extra pages. But if I decide, actually, no, I want to pull this page to this page, you'll notice that page disappears and it moves it across. I like that, I think it's pretty cool. And once again, so this is the main page. If I decide to pull it to here, you'll notice it goes from three to two. So I've got this page, and then I've got this page as well. I like that, I think that's pretty damn spiffy. Something else that's changed is there's no longer the the widgets are no longer in the app drawer. To get to your widgets now, you tap and hold on the home screen, and you get three options. So you've got your wallpapers, your widgets, and your settings. So we're going to wallpapers first of all. These are the ones you're going to probably get stuck on there, on your probably your Nexus 5, if you get a Nexus 5 soon. Again, this is a really quick video at like quarter past two. Um, I decided to have the uh, the Nexus 5 one to like, look pretty cool. If you've got any wallpaper kind of packs installed, I've got like Click UI, Trinity and Poly. If you want to use those, then they come up in there as well. Alternatively, you can actually pick an image from your gallery. So anyway, you click set your wallpaper and then boom, that will be your wallpaper there. So, you with me so far? Thank you. So, all you need to do as well is widgets as well. So, instead of it being in the app drawer, they've taken out of the app drawer and they're on here now. So, it's exactly the same as it always has been. There's nothing changed about it. It's just that they're in a different location to get to them. That's the only difference you are going to notice there. And last but not least, you get your settings. Now, this is not your settings for your phone. It's the actual launcher settings themselves. So, if you go into it, you can decide whether you want to Google that one or off. So, if you don't want it on, you can turn it off. Um, and click turn off, go home, press home Sam, it's no longer there. You've now just got your normal launcher. So if you don't like Google Now and you don't want to use Google Now, or you don't want it in the side pane, you can just get rid of it in the side pane. But if you do want it in, go back into settings, turn it on, it's going to enable it, and yes, I'm in, and yes, and then boom, you are back in there. Happy birthday, Dom. And last but not least, let's go back into the settings and show you how you got on there. So you've got your phone search, and you can kind of choose what you want it to search through, which I thought was pretty cool. So you can get it to search through um, any applications you've got on the phone, and you can specify those applications, which, again, I think is a very cool service. So let's say I wanted to have IMDB on there. Then I'm thinking, yeah, that's that's a pretty good idea to have it on there. And we'll have to say TripAdvisor as well. So I'll go back out of that one. you then got your voice. Um, you've got, your, obviously, different languages, your search input yada 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 you've probably seen some of these previously they're just kind of laid out separately in here and you can also have bluetooth headset which I think is pretty cool um, and let's block offensive words let's not block those we like swearing well we don't like it but it happens um, accounts and privacy obviously I'm not going to go into that it's going to show me different accounts notifications um, you can change what notification tone it will be um, so the actual launcher itself can give you notifications and you can give it a default tone for the notifications for that one. Again, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then last but not least, help and feedback. But that's pretty much it. 
So I go home and here I have it again. We're back into it. I gotta say, just been running it not for too long, probably about 20 minutes or so. I like it, I think it's a really cool application. I'm also gonna be doing one on the new Hangouts application, so if you wanna see that one, then click on how the Hangouts logo now, or maybe there, or underneath the video. Who knows? Anyway, people, that's it. That's been my quick look. Android 4.4 KitKat, the new launch that's coming in there. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that thumbs up. It is very much appreciated. And yes, it really does help. Subscribe for more videos, because Nexus 5, hopefully, will be in the house tomorrow. Fingers crossed on that one. And yeah. Anyway, people, I appreciate you watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.